Greg Maddox said, Leo, he said, you haven't been out to the mound and forced my first four starts. I said, well, Mad Dog, I said, you know, you're pitching great. I said, our practice sessions are going good. He goes, yeah, but he gets lonely out there. <laughs> he said, I'm going to look in the sixth inning tonight. When I look in, he says, I want you to come out and pay me a visit. I'm thinking, well, he knows he's going six innings. I mean, how does he know that? So anyway, in the sixth inning, he's got a three-game shutout going against the Mets. And so he looks in after one out in the sixth inning, he looks in the dugout. Bobby goes, Leo, Leo, Mad Dog's looking for you. Get your butt out there and make sure he's okay. So I said, okay, here I go. So I go out to the mound, and he's on the mound. And he goes, how do I look, what do I look like from in there? I said, well, you got a pretty good shot out going. You look pretty good to me. He goes, well, Leo, he said, I'm glad you came out. He said, because I don't want to talk to Chipper. He says, I, I sure as heck don't want to talk to the umpire. He said, the catcher don't speak English. And I said, well, now, I said, are we done now? He goes, no, does the bullpen need any work? I said, no, you're going nine. Go nine, I'm getting the hell out of here. So I'm going to the now, here's, here's, here's an example of a smart coach. Maddox is pitching a game against San Diego. And he's ahead one to nothing in the sixth inning. And it, it's a Friday night game, so the Saturday is the game of the week. And this is before they had all the games. So it was Tim McCarver and, 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 and Campbell were coming in. So they would scout the game on Friday night and then do the, do the game of the week on Saturday. Well, Maddox was in that one to nothing game, and it was runners on second and third and two outs, and there's a short fly ball to left center, and nobody seems to be able to find it. You know, Klesko's looking for it, Jeff Blauser's going out, he can't find it. Kenny Lofton's the center fielder at the time. He comes running in, he can't find it. All of a sudden, Klesko dives and makes the catch. Well, Maddox goes into the dugout, hollering, you know, what? what's going on out there? What? And I'm cleaning it up. What's going on out there? And I said, hey, relax. I said, we made the catch. He goes, Leo, that ball was in the air seven seconds. I went, yeah, 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 okay, seven seconds. He goes, yeah, seven seconds in fair territory is an easy catch. Four seconds is a dive, and three seconds is a base hit. I went, yeah, I know, I know, but we made the catch. Anyway, and I'm thinking, where did he come up with that at? Well, we end up winning the game, right? So the next day, Tim McCarver comes down and says, Leo, he said, were you and Maddox having words in the sixth inning last night in the dugout? And I went, well, no, he was just a little upset because, you know, we, we made, he said, well, they, you made the catch. I said, yeah, but Tim, the ball's in the air seven seconds. <laughs> he goes, what? I said, the ball's in the air seven seconds. I said, seven seconds is an easy catch. Four seconds is a, is a dive. And three seconds is a base hit in fair territory. He goes, well, how in the world do you know that? I said, I've done my homework. <laughs> It surfaced two weeks later on the game of the week. It said, the Braves believe that the ball's in the air seven seconds. <laughs> you know what? I never did tell them any different. I took full credit for it. But I went and told Matt, he said, they were, the, the next day I said, look, I said, I took credit for what you told me. No, he said, it's okay, coach. <laughs> so these were things that went on. One time, uh, uh, we were in Los Angeles in 1991. Now we've caught the Dodgers and we're in a pennant race. We got the young pitchers, the young guns as they call them. So now Smoltz's got a five to nothing. This is to show you the genius of Bobby Cox. Smoltz's got a five nothing lead in the fifth. Now it's five to three, two on, runners on second, third, and one out. He goes, Leo, should we take him out? No, I don't, I don't think we should take him out. He goes, I don't care what you think or not. I'm going to take him out anyway. <laughs> And I said, well, you asked me. I said, I, I would give you one later. I don't care. I'm going to take him out anyway. He's fixing to blow this thing. I said, well, you asked me. He goes, I don't care what you think. I'm taking him out. I said, well, go ahead. Take him out. I don't care. So when he walked out to the mound, I took my hat off and scratched my head. You know, I didn't think nothing of it at the time. So Smoltz, comes in and sits down. He goes, what's going on? I said, well, you're fixing to blow it. Just to sit down and be quiet. That's coaching. So, so anyway, so Bobby comes back in, and he doesn't say a word to me. He doesn't speak to me the rest of the game. I'm thinking, I wonder what angered him. Watch my language. I wonder what angered him. He goes, because he wouldn't speak to me. So after the game, we end up winning the game. 
and we're all in the duck in the clubhouse carrying on having a good time. And he goes, Leo, come on in my office and shut the door. I said, now I'm gonna find out who really take them off. You know, I'll find out, then I'll let them have it. He shuts the door and he goes, you ever take your hat off and scratch your head again when I make a decision? Don't you ever do that? We're on TBS, everybody can see that. I'm going, what are, you, what are you talking? He goes, you took your hat off and scratched your head when I made that decision. He said, you didn't want to take him out, didn't you? I said, no, I didn't want to take him out. You asked me, I told you the other day, I don't care. I was going to take him. I'm going to tell you why I took him out. I'm going, okay. He said, Leo, I'm sending a message to the other four starter pitchers in your young rotation that I don't want to hear the word potential no more. I want to hear results. I want to get results. He said, and I, I'm sending a message to your other four starters that I'm not going to put up with somebody blowing the lead in the fifth inning. He goes, that's why I took him out. And I looked at him and I said, well, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard. He says, I'm good. I'll get the hell out of here. <laughs> so these were things that went on in the dugout. There was a lot of emotions and a lot of...